By now, many of us are familiar with the ever-increasing number of phone scams, whether it's the CRA calling or seemingly harmless duct cleaning services. And usually most of them have some sort of cash transaction via Bitcoin or gift cards. But now a different version of the scam is finding yet another way to target your wallet. So your sin was used to rent a Kia car in Nunavut and it was found later found abandoned. There were illegal substances that were found in that. A newcomer to Canada, Runch says she fell victim to a phone scam that claimed she had criminal charges against her, asked for her SIN number and threatened dire consequences if she ignored the call. When she asked for proof, the fraudster had a ready answer. There's a phone number which he gives you um, and he's like, you can just put it on Google and you'll know that I'm calling from the same place. The number led to the website for the Dryden Court in Ontario and thus proved the caller asked for her SIN again. He's like, so now that you know, please give me your SIN number so that I can pull up your case file. And that's when you do. You finally, you know, you, you think you can trust this person and you give them your SIN number. Despite several red flags, Runch said she was caught off guard and so flustered she landed up falling for the scam. One expert says that's what fraudsters are banking on. They're trying to create this situation that puts Canadians in a position of alarm and fear and... It, and you just, you, you get so excited that you just start following orders. You feel stupid because, uh, I mean, I'm from, I'm from a very big city in India, I'm from Mumbai, and you know, you come across all these, all these instances and you're like, oh my God, you're never going to fall for that. It's all a matter of timing and what your mental state was at the time. Like, for example, I would never pick up unknown numbers, but it's all, only because I am currently job hunting. Um, I picked up because thinking it might be a potential employer. If you do pick up that call like Runge and your SIN is compromised, there are a large number of potential dangers. In the case of somebody actually getting access to your SIN, um, of course there's the, uh, the financial aspect or ID fraud. The other aspect is if I have access to your name, your address and of course your SIN, well that's enough, enough information for me to perhaps speak to somebody at the CRA. Somebody can gain then your, uh, your tax credits and it goes all the way to driver's license, um, possibly health cards or, uh, or other government related information. If you suspect your SIN has been compromised, you're advised to report the matter to police, Equifax and TransUnion as well as Service Canada. But replacing your SIN isn't a simple matter. I call up Service Canada and I'm told that until I can prove that there's been any fraudulent activity in my account, um, I cannot cancel my SIN or apply for a new one. It can happen to anyone. You, you're not above and beyond it. You can be the smartest cookie, the brightest cookie. You can be as street smart as you can. But until it happens, um, you can't be that cocky about it. We have more on this story on our website, citynews.ca. Point your phone camera to the code you see on your screen right now and click on the link that pops up. It'll take you directly to an article where we have more information about how to track fraudulent activity on your SIN, plus better protect yourself. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.